Hey chums, and welcome to another Let's Play with me, RC, here on Video Chumps. Today, we're going to be playing a bit of Proteus. That's right, Proteus. If you haven't heard of this, it is basically an old-school throwback FPS. However, maybe you've heard that before about a lot of FPSs coming out now. It's like, you know, with uh, Dusk and some of these other games that, are, that have been coming out lately the past couple years... The market's getting full, right? There's a ton of these coming out. But I gotta say, gotta say, Proteus is great. That's right, normally on the show, when we play a game, when we do a Let's Play, I'm playing it completely from scratch. But, uh, just so you guys know, right from the start, I did kickstart this game because it looked amazing. And I've already played it, uh, because they released the start of the closed beta a few months ago. And it's really, really good. Um... The best way I could describe this is it's a game where if you are not a fan of where the Doom franchise is going, for example, you know, Doom Eternal came out, uh, Critical Praise and, and, you know, pretty much everywhere across the board with that game, and uh, it's, it's a good game for sure, but if you were somebody who didn't really like the direction it was going with the way it was developing, you know, the, uh, the fights and the combat and that kind of thing, Proteus may be just what you're looking for because it kind of feels like what doom would have become you know it kind of has that brutal it takes that like brutal doom mod and applies it to like a more old school aesthetic here and it feels feels very doom in my opinion um so what we're going to do today because uh, i've already played this game before here we're going to play through a level here so you guys get an idea uh, of what we're getting into and then we're going to do a little bit of level editing because that's right this game actually comes with Believe it or not, a very in-depth level editor, so you can make your own levels and upload them for people to play. So, here, let's jump into the campaign and check it out. Uh, we're going to continue from where we left off. And here we go. So, you can see that the game actually has a <laughs> kind of a uh, interesting little, like, almost like Mario map style way of uh, picking where you're going to be playing. Uh, they have uh, this level called the Boomer Intro, which I thought was funny. Um, but that is basically just a quick introduction tutorial level. It takes like a minute to get through. They just teach you how to jump and that kind of thing. Uh, we're going to get into uh, Excavation. And uh, let's check this out. Yeah, so as I was saying though, for fans of old school FPSs, I think you're really, really, really going to enjoy this. As you can see here, it's already got that kind of look. Love the guy's fist, by the way. I love the, the animation. Boom! By the way, yes, this game is going to be very, very bloody. If you couldn't tell already. Blood everywhere. If you guys are into that kind of thing, you're going to love it here. Uh, I absolutely love the look of this game. It kind of has a... It, like I said, like an advanced old school FPS look to it. You can see these are sprites. Look, the sprite kind of move around as you go around it. Um, one of the other... We'll get into the, the shooting here, too. Probably an important part to check out from a game, right? Can't get over, like, how these bodies move when you walk around. <laughs> they almost feel like it's coming to life, you know? Alright, we're gonna need some health here pretty soon, I think. Uh, but yeah, in, in a minute here, see this character very much like the imp from uh, from Doom there. Um, in a minute here, we're going to get into some of the customization options the game has too. Let's see, we picked up some ammo, some health. Blow it up! Really nice effects, there's a new gun. The guns in this game feel very, very fun to use. Big fan of that. Here's a little bit more health. We need the green key to get in there. Of course we do. Green door, right? Alright, so, let's check out some of the customization options. You saw, saw a little shooting, saw some of the enemies. If you go into options here, you can actually go into gameplay. So you could use models instead of sprites, for example. So let's turn the, the models on. Uh, you also saw that the HUD is uh, kind of big, so you can actually turn on a minimal HUD, you can hide the HUD, you can hide your weapon, you can change your field of view, uh, there's a sprint toggle, um, 
let's see here. What else do we have? Is it under graphics? That's all basic stuff here. They do have automatic gamepad uh, support as well. I thought that there was an, a way to kind of mess with the way the guts look and everything too, but that might be something that's coming later. But let's see what the models look like. I actually don't think I've played with the models on yet. Actually, I, I, I like the way the sprites, but I, I might actually prefer the models. Oh, here we go. We got kind of an akimbo thing going on here. Let's do this. Love the aesthetic and look of this game, though. I keep thinking I'm seeing... Seeing enemies over here, but I don't. Uh, the minimal HUD is, like... <laughs> is very, very small on default. I didn't notice that while we were playing, but I kind of liked having the HUD off, actually. Uh, so minimal HUD size. Let's see what we got here. Let's do 0.6. What does that look like? Actually, that's nice. I kind of like that... Let's see if we turn that off. Yeah, I kind of like that better actually. The HUD, the normal HUD seems to be a little bit big for me. So maybe we'll put that to 0.5, turn it on. Yeah, I could deal with that, I like that. It's kind of out of the way, I can see more of the game. And the way this works is you can use uh, both mouse buttons at once to shoot both guns or you can shoot one or the other so depending on how you want to do it of course you're going to eat up your ammo more quickly if you do it that way try to grab just one of those more ammo so we're at a we're in a branching path here where we can go several different ways so let's go Blow up! I seem to be missing the barrels. There we go. Apparently got myself a bit there, too. Don't know if I can get that gun. Hm. Can't go that way. But we can't go this way. Oh! Look at this guy! Woo! He exploded real good, didn't he? <laughs> Uh-oh. Got the imps throwing stuff. There we go. Now you got the metal kicking in. Okay, now we're going to go and grab this stuff. I thought I saw an enemy in there for a moment. I'll take that minigun. Thank you. And we're just going to mow dudes down. <laughs> because that's what you do with a minigun. Yeah, I think this is the way I'm going to play the game. I think I'm going to play with the... I'm going to play with the minimal HUD. I just think it's a better overall look. At least for me, for my game style. Alright, we want to switch. So I'm hitting the number keys actually to switch my weapons, but it's not changing. Okay, that's the minigun. Fist. There we go. That's what I want. Okay. Woo. There are also going to be secrets to find in this game. Um, for those of you who normally watch my <laughs> Let's Play videos and other gameplay videos on my own channel, at youtube.com slash watch GGRC. I recommend subscribing to my channel. And subscribe to Video Chums here too, guys, if you haven't already. You get to see me play through several games. And we also upload all kinds of other types of gameplay videos all the time. Uh, but regardless, you're going to know that I am not very good. There's the green key, finally. You're going to know that I'm not very good at finding secrets. Secrets exist in all of these old school FPS games, and I am t absolutely terrible at finding them. What is this? Checkpoint! I did not remember it. I played this game very, very briefly uh, when they released it into closed beta because I had a lot going on at the time. And 
You know how it goes, guys. Too many games, right? Too many games to play. All right, so we had the green card there. But yeah, the game is apparently gonna use a checkpoint system as opposed to like a quick save, quick load system. Oh my God, get these things away. Reload, hurry. Oh jeez, I am not doing well here, am I? But we definitely made a lot of splatter, didn't we? I think there were some areas here where I didn't pick up health, so maybe we can go back and get health. Yellow key. There's the green key. So you need both keys to do the things there, so we got one more key to go find. Here is some health. Let's go grab these. So we are not doing too good with that. I don't think we went this way. Oh my god, we actually shot its arms off and it was still coming at us. Ah, so that was a little... little secret there, too. Okay. And here's some stuff up here to collect. And is that another checkpoint over there? Yeah, I think it's one I didn't grab previously. I guess we'll save that, though. Because I don't think we went this way just yet. Who do we got? Oh, these flying things are really annoying. They come right at you. These guys do not wait to throw fireballs either. They like just pretty much wind right up and they take it to you. Reload. Oh, hey, dude. Alright, we need to switch weapons to something else. Reload. We got it. Through in the lava. A shotgun's powerful, but, you know. <laughs> we need to shoot a little bit more quickly, right? There's another checkpoint there. Chaos ammo. Large. Auto map acquired. Yep, so we're gonna get a checkpoint here. Let's grab that. And we're gonna grab that health. And that is not a pickup, that's just a light. Nothing to drop to there, from what I could tell. Oh, we took him out. No problem. Trying to conserve my ammo at least a little bit. Uh, there's nothing down there. There's a little jump you could do there. Took him out. Blew his head up. Uh, the variation in kills in this is, is pretty wild, too. Um, you've already seen me shoot that guy's arms off. There you saw you could, like, pop his head off as well. So, for you guys, you know, you gore hounds out there are really going to be <laughs> satiated in this game. The jibs go a-flying, and they paint the walls. Oh, crap. I didn't even see you guys there for a moment. Ah! We got him. No, we didn't. I like that the, the music very naturally dives uh, down and comes in when it needs to during the game. Uh, we just picked up a rune. But yeah, you'll have a moment where, you know, it's like pretty quiet and then the enemies show and the, the music seems to kick in and go away just like perfectly. They, they time that perfectly with how this all works. Just 
shell ammo. All right, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna grab this health. We're gonna activate that. Don't need that apparently. Love the uh, lava effects popping up here through the grates. That looks good. So there's the yellow key. And it looks like we're gonna get a little wave here. Very Quake and Doom inspired. You guys like uh, waves of enemies coming after you when you are trying to unlock something? Yep, that's here too. I thought something bigger was coming. And the sounds of it. Grab those shells. Looks like there's a little secret room in there, but I don't see how to get there. But that's okay. We're gonna move on anyways. Uh, just from this level already, I can tell just from my, my preference in how levels are built and everything, they definitely followed a lot of the good rules as to like how you know, key gameplay works. By key gameplay, I mean literally grabbing keys because I've seen some bad key usage in games, uh, quake maps and that kind of stuff before, which can be pr pretty annoying. Do we have the minigun? We do. They make you go through hell and back to get these keys. That's sort of like the proper way to do it. I played Quake maps though, where they like have a key behind another key door to open another key door. And it's just like, wait a minute, what? Why would you do that? What is the point? You just have one key. Back to the old trusty shotgun. The shotgun I don't ever seem to run out of ammunition. The other stuff I seem to run out a little bit more often here. Another big guy here. He's done. You guys are done. Everybody's done so. Reload. Grab one of these, that's all we need. And... Death from above. Death coming to ya. Just for grabbing a checkpoint. And we need to unlock that gun somehow. How do we get that? It's like a rocket launcher. It looks like you drop in. Ah, look at that. I was talking about how I'm not going to find any secrets or anything. Look at that. We have found some secrets. But the, we don't get too many... We don't get too many rockets though, so we're gonna kind of hold off on using those. Okay, we are back. That's what I was gonna say here is I almost feel like I have no, I have no idea where I am in the actual level at the moment, you know? <laughs> but I feel like we figured it out. We are back here. I'm gonna hit this checkpoint. We're gonna activate that. Um, we got health and uh, armor right there. So if we need it right here, I don't know if this is gonna open an exit. Yeah, I was going to say, I knew there had to be some kind of fight here or something. Reload. Missed him. I like that the crosshair changes per weapon. That's kind of a nice little nifty thing. Oop. Got the whole fight. There's the rocket launcher. Mini gun. There we go. I want to go back to these. I 
I don't remember opening this. Aha! Glad I came back. I was gonna say, I remember the cylinder thing. We didn't really do anything. Who's this guy? That was a new new dude. This is this gonna take us down? It is. The new weapon. Oh man, if only we had gone through here before. Could have had a new weapon. I'll say for one level too, it gives you a lot of weaponry. Okay, back to the exit. We have absolutely... <laughs> look at the red spray all over the place here. We have decimated this place. Alright, let's activate. I was going to say, I don't know what the hell is supposed to happen here. Oh wow, okay, so this is like a lightning gun. Reload! We gotta destroy these things. Pretty cool gun. I, I dig it. Inspired by the Thunderbolt from Quake, I assume. One badass dude there, huh? Well, I'm gonna collect this stuff before we go. So I think that may be the end here. Oh uh, yeah, we activate the portal. We jump through, and there we go. That is the end of that one. 100% kills. 33% secrets. See, not great on secrets. I did, I did okay. 20 minutes, medium difficulty. And you get, of course, your... Your chuggy metal celebration music. But yeah, guys, that in a nutshell is Proteus. Um, Proteus is really cool. As you can see here, it lets you know that this is coming out on early access uh, on November 10th. So you want to join me on my channel at uh, GGRC because I will definitely be covering more of this game on my channel uh, for sure. Um, they even say here that this is the short beta demo here. There is one more level to check out, which I'm pretty sure I played through previously. It must be the second level. Um, let me see here. Mm, is this trial shotgun beta? Hmm, I don't know. Uh, but either way, this level was different from what was released in the first uh, beta that was sent out. So that's cool. So far, I've been able to play through a couple levels from this. Uh, what we're going to do now, though, is we're going to go back to... Uh, the menu here, and we are going to check out the level editor, just so you guys get an idea of what is in here. So this is actually a very expanded uh, piece of software here to make levels in. So if any of you are used to making 3D objects, you know, in, in Maya or Blender, or if you're used to making levels in some kind of a level editor for, whether it's for Unreal or Quake or Doom, whatever it is, I have a feeling you'll be more at home here. However, they have tried to streamline this system as best as they can um, for someone who's new to making levels. So uh, what's interesting here, though, uh, is that basically uh, you have all of your assets available to you right off the bat. So, for example, we want to make a room that had, let's see, we go to the asset browser and go to entities, uh, go to monsters, and if you go to chaos... You see, we have all these monsters to kind of pick from here. We have a fiend. Uh, we have uh, a skullfish. The lunger is the big guy that we killed a bunch of there. Uh, pro chaos. Nothing in there. Zombie. There we go. So this guy's already out. We have one normal zombie. There's a zombie sniper and a zombie shotgun. So if we want to put out another zombie, we put him there. Put him here. And then you just use your mouse controls to go around. Uh, you can zoom in a bit here, too, if you want to move them. Um, of course, you select them. You can move them around with the little arrows here. Like I said, very much like if you were editing in Blender or, or another level editing piece of software. Um, so I think people who have done this before will definitely uh, feel at home here. Uh, I have not done much le level editing here, to be quite honest. Uh, I might get into it when the game releases. But I did poke around a little bit just so I was a little bit more prepared for uh, this uh, video that we're doing right now. So right now I just clicked Make Box. So right there we made a floor that we can walk on. Um, 
I have not gotten to a point where I'm not sure if you can actually edit. Let's see. Object select alpha. About face select alpha two. There you go. So you can select the face. I'm sure there's a way to like extrude and grab that stuff and do different things. Uh, but I am still kind of figuring all this out. So let's see. Let's draw a box here. Oh, we are moving around. Oh, that is not exactly what I wanted to do. Don't you hate that? Let's escape. <laughs> let's try this again. Draw a box. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. So I, I just wanted to make kind of a wall type of thing here. I'm not going to go crazy with this, guys. I'm just going to make a couple of things. Oh, they do have prefabs, too. Let's browse the prefabs. You got buttons, challenge, doors. So if you wanted to set a door in there somewhere, like here, for example. Okay, so that's like a door button, I see. Or door with a button is what I meant to say. So if you select that, oop, escape here. And I have a feeling that this is going to be uh, best suited for anybody out there who is going to be able to not only have it, if you may, perhaps you have experience making levels, but not only that, uh, if you have experience making levels, but I was going to say also, if you uh, have uh Oh, geez, this thing is moving around here. Uh, if you could get on YouTube and just do yourself like a uh, tutorial. I assume the team is going to make a tutorial for their, their stuff here. I don't know for sure. That door is totally not where I want it to be. And I would like to move it, please. Oh, there we go. Uh, so we want to move it this way. There we go. So you can see the little guideline on there is now guiding us as to where it should go. So if we want it to go like here... Still kind of figuring this out. Put it there. And okay, so there we got the door. Um, then we're going to make another floor here. At least I'm going to try to make a floor. Okay, we got box set. Draw a box. Yeah, those guys are what's going to help you here. That's what you need. At least you can still line up and move things around once you're done here. And I'm probably making this look much harder than it actually needs to be, you know what I mean? I Because <laughs> I haven't spent much, spent much time with it. Uh, let's see. We got move already selected, so let's move it this way. Move it this way. There we go. It is in the center, right? It is. Okay, so that's what I was trying to do. I was trying to make a door that bridges to, like, another area. Uh, we're gonna put... What this is here is the exit. And... That as well. Okay. So we made a couple boxes, we made a door. You can see where our spawn point is. This is where our guy is going to spawn in here. He's going to pick up a gun, and then we have some zombies to kill before we open the door and exit. So we made a very, very, very simple level here. So let's let's play the map. You can just hit play, play map, click finish. It'll load it right up. Oh, apparently I still have my, <laughs> my weapons from the campaign. That was probably not meant to be. But no big deal. Uh, so there we go. We took out the zombies. So now you can see we open the door. We run through. Oh, that was supposed to be the exit, but we fell off. Either way, that was <laughs> probably not supposed to happen, but either way. We we're supposed to run through the exit. Back to editor. Oh, you know what? That's what happened. The exit. That's funny. The exit was not in the right spot. Let's try it again. Then we can actually exit. Okay, we take out the zombies. Now we run through. There we go. Now the exit was in place. Okay, cool. 100% kills. 0% secrets because there's none. There you go.
And it's as easy as that. You just keep, you can keep editing, keep changing things. Uh, like I said, I haven't gotten that deep into it. I don't even know what all the settings are for the enemies. You could see that, you know, they have uh, different sele uh, selections above their heads, which I need to get into and play around with. Um, but I could see people really, really, really getting into this game and this game actually having quite a following and a community uh, dedicated to building maps for it because you, know, you still got people developing uh, mods and maps for Doom and Quake and, and other games all these years later that they've been around. And this game actually has really, really fun gameplay. It's got a great look. Um, and I could I could see it really going uh, far with this, you know, and keeping the game alive with the community. Um, but Proteus, so far, like... Man, I'm really digging it. It's a game that I am really glad I, I kickstarted. I haven't said that about a game in a long time. Um, I feel like a lot of times these Kickstarter games they kind of like either fizzle out or they they kind of fail to uh, you know deliver on what they promise. But Proteus is like oh, is already where it needs to be. In early access November, like I said, check out my channel uh, if you want to see more of this game because I'll definitely play through more of it. Uh, for you guys. But anyway, guys, I just want to say thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to us here at Video Chums because like I said, we come out with the Let's Plays like this and other gameplay videos all the time. And of course, my own personal channel, youtube.com slash watch GGRC. Subscribe to both. I think you'll like them both. And of course, I'll see you all next time.